Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Um, actually, I met Lanny at a youth function for First Christian Church here in Orlando. My youth minister was his brother, Larry. Lanny came down for a visit. He had just been stationed in Jacksonville and came down to visit his brother. And I was in charge of the food for the, the youth function, which happened to be a party at the beach. We dated off and on. Um, we had a discussion one time where he thought I should be more like a little sister to him, and I told him that wasn't what I had in mind. He was kind. Lanny was very kind. Um, to some extent, almost to the point of driving me crazy kind. He was always looking to see if there was something he could do for somebody else. He would say, patience is not one of my virtues. His big love as he, as I, once our children grew up, the thing that he was most concerned about, I think, were the youth in our churches. Because he saw how, as a fireman, he, he saw a lot of things that, um, I didn't see, and he saw the struggles that some of these kids have, and he he was always concerned about the future for the kids. Um, I think that's one of the reasons he wanted to be on the board of family ministries. I was always afraid he was going to come home and want us to sell everything and go be grandparents at family ministries, because he really loved what they did for the kids. He and I both had very good experiences going to church camp, and we knew that our time at camp was very beneficial and life-changing for both of us. And even though we never went to the same camps, we, we both gathered a lot of it. So I think because of the environment that the kids are growing up in these days. He really wanted them to have that experience, to have that strengthening that you get from being with other Christian kids and the friendships that you make at camp. I think just because we had been blessed in a lot of ways that he wanted to be able to quietly be a blessing to somebody else. And so he and I talked about it, and I said, you know, there were times I would not have been able to go to camp if somebody hadn't stepped up to pay for that. So if he made a little extra money here and there, we put it aside so that when something came along like that that we, we felt one of the kids could use, then we would try and make sure that the money got where it needed to go.